Hello viewers, in this video we are going to learn about antigenic determinants on immunoglobulins. There are three types of uh, antigenic determinants on antibodies. Isotypic determinants which are located in the constant region of the antibody molecule. Allotypic determinants which are also you know present in the constant region of the uh, antibody molecule and idiotypic determinants which are present in the variable region of the antibody molecule. So here we can see that two of the uh, you know antigenic determinants are present on the constant region while one type of antigenic determinant is present in the variable region of the antibody molecules. Now let us go uh, in a little you know, explanatory phase or detailed phase of understanding these. As I told you that isotypic determinants are present in the constant region. Okay, So this constant region is made up of constant domain of light chain and constant region of the heavy chain. So both and uh, light as well as heavy chain constant region will be included in the isotypic determinants. As there are different classes and subclasses of heavy and light chains, so constant region determinants will be you know, will are collectively defined as uh, you know uh, each H chain or heavy chain classes and subclasses as well as light chain types and subtypes within a species. This is important within a species. Say, in case of humans, in case of mouse, in case of rabbit, in case of monkey, right? So isotopic determinants will be uh, same within a species. Because this type of uh, determinants in the heavy and constant region will be same. Like for example, IgG1 molecule and IgM molecule uh, will have different isotopic determinants, right? So each class, each type within a species will have different isotopic determinants. See, within a constant region, uh, there will be allelic differences. So if I talk about same class or same type of antibody molecule that is IgG1 within a species but in different individuals, right? So same type is there but individuals are different, right? Mouse 1, mouse 2 or mouse strain A or strain B of mouse and we are studying the same isotype IgG1 and IgG1, right? So there the differences between these two isotypes will be uh, in the constant region will be called allotypic determinants. These differences will arise because of the allelic differences, right? And antibodies raised against uh, these, this part will be known as allotypic, uh, anti-allotypic antibodies. Now let us talk about idiotypic determinants. As I told you that these are present in the variable region. See unique amino acid sequences of variable region uh, of a given antibody form the idiotypic determinants. In uh, different antibodies within an individual or if we talk about any type or subtype, all the antibodies will differ in the, their idiotypes unless they are monoclonal. Okay. So these uh, idiotypic uh, antigenic determinants against these antibodies can be raised and these antibodies will be called anti-idiotypic antibodies. Okay, so at sometimes the idiotypic determinants are actually the antigen binding sites of the antibody molecule. Now, in on a single antibody molecule, there can be different idiotypic determinants. These are uh, when singly named called idiotope. So a single idiotypic determinant will be called idiotope while when we talk about the uh, all of the idiotopes on an antibody molecule they are collectively called idiotype of that particular antibody. So idiotope is a single antigenic determinant and the collection of these anti idiotopes is idiotype. So within an individual within an isotype uh, uh, these idiotopes will be different. We raise antibodies against antibodies for different purposes, right? Uh, for example, in ELISA, we have secondary antibodies which are generally raised against the constant region of the antibody molecule. 
so there can be different antibodies or different types of antibodies that can recognize different parts of an antibody molecule like some antibodies may recognize constant region some may recognize variable region and in that too some may recognize allotypic determinants some may recognize isotopic determinants right or idiotypic determinants now there are different kinds of antibody molecules that recognize other antibodies these are anti fab antibodies anti fc antibodies anti isotype antibodies anti allo type and anti idiotype as uh, you can clearly guess by their name also like anti fab so the fab fragment is what uh, light chain plus a portion of the heavy chain right so anti fab these antibodies will be able to bind to both uh, variable region as well as constant region of the antibody molecules right so they bind to the papain generated fragments of the antibodies consisting of v heavy uh, variable region of heavy chain and constant region of heavy chain 1 and variable region l and cl so this is a, a way to represent the fab fragment right so because fab fragment are generated by papain digestion and you must recall i have explained it in our previous video so anti fab antibodies will be able to bind to this domain or this fragment of the antibodies and anti fc you recall again that what is it this is a constant region papain generated constant region so antibodies uh, anti fc antibodies will only bind to the constant region excluding the ch1 and cl right so they will bind to ch2 ch3 as well as uh, ch4 in case of ige and igm because they have an extra ch domain right so anti fc antibodies and anti fab uh, antibodies now this is clear where they bind to on an antibody molecule anti isotopic of course isotopic determinants they will bind to and uh, they are specific for every types of heavy chain class and anti allotypic so they will bind to antigenic determinants that are allele specific and uh, allele specific differences are there in both light and heavy chains so they will be uh, varying in among among individuals and anti idiotype antibodies uh, so they will bind to the idiotypic determinant that is variable region right so every antibody differ uh, in their variable region by subtle changes in the amino acid sequence if you can recall that that cdr or hyper variable region contributes to the antigen binding domain of the variable region right so these antibodies bind there so i hope with this uh, you are uh, now aware of you, are, you know that what are the different kinds of antigenic determinants as well as how many kinds of antibodies that can be raised against the antibody molecules so viewers i thank you very much for watching this video please do subscribe like and share this video and keep coming on to my channel thank you